Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, I'm going to confess to something that most hosts would never confess to. I haven't had a shower yet today. I worked till 3 o'clock, couldn't get to sleep, got up at 6 o'clock. I had to get to the office after I worked. I just said, hell with it. But I don't smell. I did put on deodorant. And I brushed my teeth. All right, here we go. Trump trial. It's off and running. Old pecker, pecker, peckers testifying. Catch and grab. Catch and grab. All of it means nothing. Nothing. This trial is merely keeping Trump in a courtroom and two, keeping Trump embarrassed. And by the way, but, but it's, it's such old news. Everybody knows about it already. I want, to, I want to say this too. A criminal defendant does not have to attend his trial. He can say, I don't want to go. You don't have to attend. This judge is forcing Trump to attend the trial. He's a son of a bitch. All right, Joe Biden. Uh, he screwed up again. I mean, the guy is a walking gaffomatic. I, I ought to trademark that word. Gaffomatic. Well, the anti Israel uh, protest went all the way to Chuck Schumer's home. Uh oh. What are you going to do now, Chuck? Meanwhile, in Columbia, the president of the university has told these folks, we have to end this. You are causing a disturbance. These students, though, several things I want to talk about in this. Number one, these students are getting out of class. You watch. They'll get grade adjustments. They'll get, they will. They'll get grade adjustments. So they're getting out of class. Number two, you got to be some kind of crazy if you think all the people that are involved in this, financially helping, communicating, are college students at Columbia. And like I put out on a graphic yesterday, this is not just anti-Semitism. The Muslims, the anti-American Muslims, not the Muslims, the anti-American Muslims have a foothold in this country, revealed to the world. All right, the Senate has approved the aid. It's going to Joe Biden's desk. Ukrainian aid, Israeli aid, TikTok ban if they don't sell, and a bunch of other stuff. Nothing for the border. It's terrible. Federal Trade Commission is considering passing some laws and regulations that would make non-competes illegal. Non-competes ought to be illegal. They really ought to be. All right, Fetterman. I'm warming up to the guy, aren't you? I didn't wear this to honor Fetterman, but let me tell you about Fetterman. Fetterman thinks the Columbia president ought to do his job or be do their job or be fired. And he's for the border. I mean, I'm telling you, we can work with Fetterman. George Allen Kelly, this is the Texan who was charged with killing an illegal immigrant. Rumor has it that the jury was one vote away from acquittal. Hopefully that'll influence the prosecutor to say, nah, baby, nah, no retrial. True social. Trump's about ready to get a billion dollar windfall of more truth shares. Mike Johnson's son's wild story. When he was down in Mar-a-Lago earlier, they went swimming, parasailing or whatever, and they almost drowned. They were saved by somebody. Crazy story. And in Pennsylvania last night, Trump won, Biden won, Mick Cormick won the Republican primary. It's on in Pennsylvania. And Santos has withdrawn his attempt to go back to Congress. Good thing. This is the Bulldog, every dog. Oh, one final thing. I saw the first Rand Paul endorsing Thomas Massey ad uh, on Fox News this morning. This is the same Rand Paul who Thomas Massey's in love with and craves to be with. Bunch of creepy weirdos, those two. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's News. Do not be a reeky, fusty codpiece. Shakespearean insult is picked by Jamie Spinley, my chess buddy. All right, Brianna Moeller, pictured here, killed a 17-year-old in Logan County, Kentucky, or excuse me, Logan County, Ohio. Sad, sad, sad. Kelly Richards, pictured here, his criminal trial for sex trafficking began yesterday. Shalonda Mixon, Joe Mixon's sister, pictured here, check out them eyelashes, got three years probation for her incident out in the front yard, gun and all. Two-year-old was shot, no name, two-year-old was shot and taken to uh, Children's Hospital last night. How's a two-year-old get shot? Ann Myers, 74, right here, I want to know her story. Family says she was hoodwinked, went into a bank to rob it. 
74 years old. You know, I say this all the time. I've told my closest friends. You know what? If you're going to commit a crime like this that could send you to prison a long time, might as well do it at the end of your life because you ain't got a lot of life left anyway. Think about that. Life imprisonment for a 74-year-old ain't the same, right? All right, in local news, Kenton County is going to have a new fire fighting training center. I see the Independence firefighters train all the time right outside their station. All right, in Ohio news, this guy right here, Gregory Postel, was the Toledo University president. He's now taking a job at University of Cincinnati, including dean of the medical school. In Indiana news, Scott Petty was the treasurer for Aurora's Farm Fair. Is apparently embezzled $70,000. Guy must have been broke. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a Ricky Fosty codpiece. May today be yours. Good day, Bulldog Nation. You're watching Every Theater's World News with Jamie Spinley. Today's latest headlines. The U.S. Senate passed a $95 billion foreign aid bill, including military support for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. The President of America is set to sign it into law later today. A boat carrying asylum seekers capsized near Djibouti, East Africa, leading to 16 deaths and 28 missing individuals, according to the United Nations Migration Agency. In other news, Italian police found a significant amount of cocaine valued at nearly $440 million floating off the coast of Sicily. We're in our own business, Billy. Yes, we are, Bulldog. Do you want to go to Sicily later? Yes. The drugs were in 70 waterproof packages contained with a signaling light device. And listen to this, believe it or not, two horses believed to be from a senior regiment in the British Army were captured after being spotted racing through central London streets. Despite causing major ac accidents with vehicles, they were safely recaptured by the City of London Police. I have a question. Were those horses intoxicated? Did they do a breathalyzer on them? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure there. It's... <laughs> I have something to say, though. He did beat me at chess today. And I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know. And he beat me yesterday. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, it's going to be a fantastic day out there. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, America, German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports Without Boundaries. R the Reds last night kicked some ass. Ella David Cruz hit a homer. Espanol hit a homer. Reds eight, Phillies one. Eva did a great job pitching. Cruz did a great job in relief. Go Reds. They're going to be at it again tonight at six. NBA playoffs. Wolves beat the Suns 105 to 93. Pacers beat the Bucks 125 108. Mavericks beat the Clippers 96-93. In NHL playoffs, Avalanche beat the Jets 5-2. Panthers beat Lightning 3-2. Rangers beat the Capitals 4-3. My uh, sons and uh, wife are big Capital fans. And Predators beat the Canucks 4-1. Kelsey, according to sources, is only making $15 bucks as a tight end. He could be the highest tight end, but he wants to keep the band together. And Andy Reid is now the highest paid coach in the NFL, as he should be. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a reeky, fusty codpiece. Be an oracle, not a jack wagon. It's a gentleman, American German Bulldog Nation. Welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. Let's have some fun. Jerry Seinfeld has directed a movie, and you know what he said? And he's right. Hollywood's dead. Why is Hollywood dead? Because they suck, and there's too many other entertainment outlets. Now, I want to just say this, because you got Netflix and all these platforms. There will always be, in my opinion, room for a great movie. Room for a great television series. But the problem is, there's just slop made. Too much. Uh, Kate, you can't make this up, folks. Megan's going to be mad. Kate is the very first royal, Jamie Spinley, to be made by... King Charles, royal companion of the order of the companions of honor. I didn't know there was such a thing, but I am going to adopt this for Bulldog Nation to where special people can be appointed royal companion of the oil, royal, uh, order of the companions of honor. Actually, I guess I said bulldog companion of the order of the companions of honor. I guess we'll call it Bulldog Mafia. All right. John Bon Jovi says that the secret to a long marriage is 
He wasn't a saint, but he didn't screw up his home life. I want to tell you something. Amen. I remember seeing uh, George Harrison's wife, Olivia, interviewed. And they said, well, how'd you stay married? He goes, because we chose to stay married. I mean, come on. You're that famous. You know, there's going to be some stuff that slips through the cracks. By the way, it could go both ways too. Wife home only. Anyway, if I was a rock star, Jamie Spilling, I think I'd take my wife out on tour with me. That's the way to nip that in the bud. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I just the bulldog. Every dog has their day. My crack producer looks like she's falling asleep over there.